Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Admiral Pegasus and on today's show we are going to be talking about this which is not where I actually put it because the damp screen's moved. What a start. It's actually a little bit further towards the end. It is the great chase. Yes we're going to be talking about, let's get this moved across, these particular events and what they actually mean and the follow-up of the event store which Hasn't dropped at the time of recording this segment of the video, but when we actually get round to the next segment of the video a bit later on, hopefully that will have dropped. But first of all, I just want to say sorry it has been a while since I've done videos or any live streams. Unfortunately, I have had a number of issues going on, which I did put in the community post around the beginning of September, if I remember correctly. And I said, obviously, it'll be hit and miss whether there'll be anything on the show, but hopefully in October we'll get back to it. Um, so we're going to talk about that later on in today's video as well the mental health side and what i've had going on in a family and an explanation for this um, <laughs> but right now we want to talk about this lovely thing here the great chase so what the idea is this video i'm just going to put out here at the beginning is future proofing this for you your alliance and any other players that come into the game so this will probably end up in a new playlist on the channel which is going to be called reoccurring events and uh, that's the leading title at the minute but it's not appeared so don't ask for it um <laughs> but what we're going to do is just basically break this down you know what i'm like i'm going to go through this bit by bit now as you can see i've got the events completed bar one i'm just waiting for something to jump up and then we'll get that done we'll do that here in today's video um but first if you do end up liking this video, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also share amongst your alliance, your server, your friends, your family, whoever. Let them know that Pegasus knows how to put a video together. Well, that, that one's probably stretching it a little bit too far. But anyway, so today's aim is basically covering the SMSs, the SLBs, the event store. Different tactical ideas that I've come across, which um, and a lot of um, veteran players will have done. So if you are a new player to the game, you can think about these tactics. Again, these are not going to be, this is what you must do. This is what you must do. No, it's if you want to, if you want to consider that idea, because I will try and give you some ideas which will help make things a little bit easier on you and the gameplay. So let's get cracking with this, shall we? So. The Great Chase then is a three day event and as you can see on the current timers at the minute it is down to a day and six hours. Let's get it back on the screen properly. And obviously we have um, three different um, events starting, uh, four different events actually, starting here with the enlistment. And basically what this is, is going into your event store if you actually click on the enlist button, it'll tell you what to do. Go into the um, in event store click on the enlist chest which will be in there uh, let's just get back into um the event store so now this is not here because obviously i've already completed this but you will find it in here um basically click on that and claim it and what that's going to do if you are a new player to this is going to give you an avatar now we'll just quickly jump over to the avatars you can see i've already got one of the particular avatars up and this is called the veteran one but we'll quickly cover all three because there are three you might not get the veteran to begin with but i guarantee you you will get them join this particular event so the first one then is this particular one here is called the herogen bounty initiate this is the beginning this will get you to the first event and the first slb yes we will cover the slbs as well so basically equipping this will allow you to partake in the events now um once you've completed that obviously another avatar will drop where is it there it is it is here is the bounty uh, the herogen bounty hunter this will get you to at least the next event and give you the next slb and then obviously the one that i've got um shed uh, stuck in already is the veteran this will basically allow you to do all three so equipping yourself with this particular one if you've got it you do not need to change um Avatars, you can literally just run through all the events, all the SLBs as they come along. So if we jump back to the events then, and we'll go through the first event. So that is basically it for that for the enlist. And that, like I said, that will complete 
the enlist one it'll give you that if you do have the avatars already you'll basically be given some of these uh, if we get if we can just call it up you'll be given basically a hundred of these if you already have the avatars if you don't you'll be given the avatar i think you might get some of these as well i can't guarantee it but when you do complete that, you will also get this, which is the bounty credits, which we'll talk about later on because they are for the event store. So, moving on to the Great Chase 1 then, if we can actually find it, is right here. So, basically, 500 points is needed to complete it. And what you're going to do is you are going to go out and kill any hostile in the galaxy. Literally any hostile in the galaxy you like. Let me just get my script back up because I need to know... What my script tells me to say. If I can. Here we go. And basically it's going to give, ask you to give. Uh, it's going to give you sorry. One point per kill. So that's basically 500 kills. 500 kills. Now there are bonuses as well. You can go after. And if you look at this particular one at the bottom here. It's the Silver Blood Voyager. Um, I will show you this a little bit later in the video. In fact I tell you what. Let's actually see if we can get it. Okay, so here we are. As you can see across the bottom there, I'm in an FSEP um, system. You will need to be in one of these particular systems, or you commonly know them as the Voyager mining systems where you've got all these anomaly samples. You will need Voyager because you are going to need the summoning device. And what you're basically going to do is you are going to summon if it's actually available. So, um, yeah, I didn't actually read that, so I'm guessing it's not available in this particular system. But basically what it is, is Voyager, it's the Silver Blood version of it from the uh, Demon Class Planet. So, um, just bit, so that's what you're going to go after. They are particularly strong, so make sure you've got a decent strength Voyager or a decent strength ship in there. Now, as you can see as well... I'm having an issue with summoning a problem another problem with this as well is have you got enough summoning device and this is protecting you where you're going to need to spend some money obviously if it doesn't summon you're going to get it refunded to you so it's whether or not it appears and basically to complete this you are going to need um, 34 um, silver bloods to actually do this so realistically going after the silver blood while yes it's going to give you that nice 15 point bonus it's not very conducive it's going to take you a very long time to actually do now the other one i can probably recommend off this one is the data cube obviously giving you nine points and what i'll do is i'll jump voyager to one of those particular systems going out here to is it missile up so that'll take me about a minute to get there. Yeah, I've got a few things. I've, I've been building more because I don't really do Voyager anymore. Now, while he's traveling there, before we can act, it was, it's going to be easy to show you them. Another idea as well is what I've got my Cerritos here doing, which is auto grinding. This is probably going to be the easiest thing you can do because all you're doing is putting it out overnight, let it kill the hostiles, jobs are gone. As you can see, there's a lot of people here as well probably doing their leveling up and everything so you can actually do your leveling up while you're actually doing these events now like i said you do need 500 hostiles and the one thing with the auto grinding you need to be aware is the time between hostiles if you take a look at these four up the top here there is about a minute between each one so basically you're looking around 500 minutes to actually do this which in total, I've actually got the time written down here a little bit further down in my list. Is 8 hours and 20 minutes. 8 hours and 20 minutes. Now you can cut that time in half by potentially adding a, um, a, second, a second system for you and an augment space. I've noticed, do not put two ships in the same system because what only one will get the hunter. The other one won't. And it'll be the second one that enters that gets the hunter. But you can go to Texas Space and go after the, um, let the sentries come after you. Um, so like this one here, sentry. Again, one minute apart, auto grinding. So you, you're looking. So if, if I put a ship in this system, one in augment, that's basically going to cut my grind down from eight hours to four hours and ten minutes. 
and then obviously the more ships you add in the quicker it will be now if you do have a faction Romney and Klingon Federation that is negative you can also use that as well I don't have any negative so I can't show you that one unfortunately now let's get the data cube as well and what I will say with this hostile grinding this will work for all three levels of chases as you can see there's more ships in here than there usually is so these have been going after the data cubes so are we going to find one well, we'll find out yes we've got one now where is it there it is now what I will say with these as well is the bonus is these faction uh, messages this is this is a great way to do some hostile grinding for this event because you're going to get these yes it's going to give you two but the federation is available if you do a second one using um voyager yeah you're not you're going to stick to whatever loot bonuses you've got at the time as well so there is that obviously i won't get the um Oh, any loot in my cargo bay because that goes straight to my inventory. So I am going to try and see if I can get a silver one on this video as well so you can actually see it. So that is literally the Great Escape one. It's literally just go out, grind hostiles. My best advice on that one is literally auto grind it. Put a ship out overnight. Texas space, augment space or faction space if you have a negative reputation with them. Just let it do it. Like you've got three days, eight hours is nothing. So, but now, um, let's move on to the next one. So, quickly just cover the rewards of Great Escape. One, because it's worth mentioning. The top level here is where you are going to get your next avatar. Now, watch out for these as well. The bounty order, there is a separate sort of event. I'm not quite sure what it is. If it appears, I will add it in this video. If it doesn't appear, well, there's no point worrying about it right now. But it will not, it'll basically mean my future proofing's not really worked. But anyway, so that's Great Escape 1. And then obviously for the initiates as well, you will gain this leaderboard SLB to do. As you can see, the avatar here. That's what you need to actually partake. And to do that, exactly the same as the SMS. What you'll find with all three of these SLBs, they're exactly as they're accompanying SMS. Okay, so next one where you go to um, Great Escape 2. SLB, again, has got the avatar that you're actually going to need. And the event itself is Group Amadas. Now, you can do the hostiles, but again, one point to hostile. Bonus points, yes, are all available, but look at the score. 5,500, all right, 5,500, I've got that written down, 91.6 hours, 91.6 hours to, to complete that, so yeah, again, leave your ships auto grinded, it's going to get you those points, especially while you're offline and you're not doing it, but next up is group armadas, so as you can see, it's, it's defeat any group armada, so that could be your FKRs, that could be Cardassians, it could be the formation armadas, so it does say doing that and this is obviously going to give you a bonus of 200 points yes you can do all that if you want but again that's working with your alliance and making sure there's players online the downside to this making sure you've got the directives if you don't have the directives you're relying on other people to have the directives so this is where the spending comes in for this making sure you've got the directives now a tactic i'm going to throw in here now i've got to remember which ship i actually sent there not that one that's for the next one so here it is the tactic i would recommend you use on this one again you do not need to do this you can you might want to go after those other armadas absolutely fine but burial armadas if you've got a surplus of uncommon directives if or if someone else has you run in this it's a three minute timer so it's like literally 20% of the FKRs and just over half <coughs> of the Cardassian Amada timers and it's bloody cheap 20 directives that is it 20 directives and you're done oh don't forget the oxygen ones in territory as well they are still classed as group Amada so you can do that as well but like I said it comes down on who's got the directives 
if you've got enough directives to do this, I would recommend you do it because you only need to kill, what was it, about 22, I think I, um, I worked it out at. Um, uh, what was it, 5,500 points divided by 200. Yeah, it's about 20, 24 kills. 24 kills to actually do this. Um, now, with the number of directives that I've got, I can do five. 520 I can do 520 of these things sorry this way so that's a lot and if someone comes to join me great they come and join me if they don't they don't but as well with these group of murders as well you can get rid of that timer as well by you uh, we we'll just get the um, freighter in come on stop if my freighter beats this it'll be a miracle but obviously click um, click there come on is your speed ups as well you can use your speed ups with these as well to get rid of that timer so go on let's do it. 30 second timer but i don't fully expect it to survive so you can do that now these are eight um eight million in power yes my miner is 10 million so it should actually beat it but we'll see what the firing pattern actually comes down on that one and then as well you've got these you've got uh, the mycelium spores that you're going to be able to collect so that can work towards your discovery as well so there is ways of doing this to get multiple different things done in game should you wish but again you don't have to follow this advice on this one if you don't want to do these ones you don't have to and the miner has actually won and um, i think somebody was just coming in to actually join me on that one but you can do that not a problem and my mind has barely took any damage so literally yeah so let's quickly jump over to the SLB for this then as well. Again, you're going to need the particular avatar to actually join this one. And again, it's using group murders. Now, as you can see as well, you're going to get these bounty hunters and you're going to get some more bounty credits with each SLB. How the hell am I in fifth? I really don't know, but there's only five hours left on it. So I'm not particularly that bothered. I think the SLBs are 24 hour periods in themselves. So moving on to the um, Great Escape 3 and the, it's a joining SLB. As you can see, any of the three avatars needed, no problem. And you're going to need 55,500 to actually complete this. And solo armadas come into this. Now you can use any of the solo armadas. There's no particular, the best tactic on this one is the shipyard of murders again if you've got the directives now with the shipyard of murders i only need to kill um what is it 11 12 i only need to do 12 of them i did the last one in that in that edit cut so that's not a problem for me because i built up the directives but if we actually just jump out there and Yes, I am going to use this as a little boast and everything because obviously is I don't do these very often. In fact, it's very rare. Um, can we find one? Yep, here we go. So we've got these out here. Click on that. I've got 48,000. I've got loads. So I can go out and do this. Not a problem by myself. Get 12 of these. Job's good. Un. Now, if you don't have the directives to do this, you can actually look at things like the Dominion Solo Armadas. And using any of the three rarities. So if we click on this Gemini one common here, as you can see, I've only got 500. So that gives me five of these to do. Well, you saw the scoring. It's only 2,500. So that means I need to do what? Well, I need to do twice as many. Twice as many. Well, not quite for, uh, 24. 23. I need 23 of these. That's not going to be enough. So I can now look at the rares. Have I got enough rares? Yeah, I've got enough rares to do it. Not a problem. Absolutely not a problem. And then again, the epics. Again, I've not got a problem. Uh, well, actually, yeah, you could say that I've only got enough of 10. So again, that's not going to be enough. So I'd be relying on my rares here to do this. But again, I'll be getting the loot that it comes. I'll be getting all this, which is going to work towards the Bajoran faction store. But then again, I do these on a regular basis anyway, like once a week. So it's not a problem. Now, if you don't have enough Dominion Directives, but you've got some Borg ones, 
guess you can go out and do the Borg ones as well. And I'm sure this is going to be one where I can show you. I, I can do three uncommons here. Again, not enough. But if I add that to the five uncommons of the Dominion, there's eight. There's eight Amadas already and just on the uncommons. Uh, move down to the rare. Again, <laughs> yeah, got plenty. This is not going to be a problem. I mean, if we look at this, if we take that 13,000 itself, and we know for a fact we can just basically double it, it's 26. 26 rares on that one. And then if I look at the epics, again, got more than enough to do it. More than enough. So, using the solo madders, using them, yes, I have enough directives to do it. But the question is, have you got enough directives to do it? If not, spread them out. And then don't forget, you've got the time to do this. If you get the other two events done, that's fine. But as well, join this three-day event. Keep one ship grinding. Keep it grinding. Now, quick caveat I'm going to throw in here about this is going to be your loot boxes. Watch out because, you, as you can see here, I've got 574. Once I reach 1,000 of them, I'm going to start losing all the old ones. So, watch out for that one. And watch out for your kills per day. Don't forget, to get the loot, loot boxes and the loot off the hostiles, you're only allowed a maximum of 2,000 kills per day. So, watch out for that one as well while you're doing it. But to, like, to do it, you, yeah... I mean, in 24 hours, I mean, I'll call up my uh, handy dandy calculator on my phone. But, so 24 times 3 times 60, because obviously there's 60 minutes in an hour. 4,320 hostiles I can kill over three days. 4,320 hostiles I can kill over three days. So... Yeah, I'm kind of not hitting the 2,000 target, 2,000 hostile target, but I still got my dailies to do. Yes, I still got my dailies to do. <coughs> so that's going to also add into that as well. And as well, if I'm ki if I'm killing in augment space and Texas space and faction space, yeah, you're getting you. You're going to be getting quite a lot of um, kills there. So you're easily going to be hitting your target every single day. And then, of course, the, salt, the, the, the SLB itself as well. Um, here it is. The SLB itself, again, I mean, as I'm down on the next level down. But, again, will contain all three different, um, all three different ways of actually scoring in this. So that's the SMSs and the SLBs. The next up is going to be the event store, but obviously it's not dropped, so guess what? Edit here to bring the event store in. Um, most likely change shirt by the time it's come around. Okay, so this is where the um, bounty orders are going to be sent. I, I did say we'll um, do the event store when it drops. So obviously I have changed locations for this part of the video, but then we'll see for the final part, we'll jump back to where I originally recorded it. But anyway, so here's where you're going to spend your orders. And as you can see, you've got three different um, event styles. You've got a bount uh, rookie bounty, you've got the journey bounty, and you've got the elite bounty. And just basically different events. So like this one here, spend materials. But it's going to cost me three orders to actually do. But it does pay out with the... If we can just get it... Is it going to come up? Yeah, so... You're going to get extra credits for these for you to spend in the event store. Hence the reason why I'm putting this little bit before we look at the event store. It's not much in the event store to be perfectly honest. But it is what it is. So you've got away team assignments as well. You've got solo murders, queues trials and things like that. So if you really want to go after them by all means do so. Um, just quickly looking at the journey as you can see that only costs you two. But you're only getting 400 of the... Um, Credits and then the rookie is again, it's going to be one order and it's going to be less credits as well. So, jumping over to the event store, then if we go in, as you can see, yes, we've got Ceres Invasion going. And I can tell you now, there is a video coming very soon for the NSCA Protector because I'm literally about two days from recording this 
extract of this video from actually getting that. But I've also learned that I've also got the Eviscerator. So there's another video coming as well. But anyway, so here's the event store. Don't uh, we, I don't understand why the Return of the Mega Cube's coming. Event store's back, but it is. That's not part of this, but this is what we're looking at. So this is the event store that we normally get. It's basically, as you can see, a dabber wheel, really. Got um, materials and resources. You've got away teams. and You've got um, territory. You've also got this donation. Do not do this. Do not do this. It's too expensive based on that for 10 pieces of latinum. Not worth it. Literally not worth it. Don't do it. Avoid it like the plague. In fact, mate, if it's... Yeah, the plague. Let's go with the plague. But anyway, so you got that. And then obviously with the um, territory, you get your refined isogen, you get iso emulsion, you get progenitor parts... And you also get the choice of, well, you don't actually get a choice. You get an RNG base of officers and you're going to get um, the chance of some latinum and some speed ups. So if we actually quickly have a look at this. So um, guaranteed materials and resources plus one chance of items. Um, chance ransom or shacks 6%. Um, rear officers 14%, 10% chance of latinum and 70% chance of a speed up. So you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to be getting speed up because that's the highest one. It's only an hour in this, in this, but still 17,500 latinum as well is actually good. But if we look at the material side of things, if we could just get into the materials, score to latinum 22,500. So yeah, but. It is what it is. I've got 3,700, so that's going to get me around about 12 particular pulls. So it's like I can literally do three here. We'll see how where that gets me. And that's going to get me... Oh, I've got a sh Ransom Shard. And I've got two um, Speed Ups, but I've got no Latinum with this. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then do another pull, because I'm sure there was a cooldown timer or something on these things. So, yep, there it is. So there is a 22-hour uh, twenty-two cooldowner on these. So I've only spent 600 so far. So it basically means within the three de the four days that this is open, I will be able to go claim these. Now, if you are chasing the resource materials, I would stick with them. If you really want the away teams, by all means, go after them. But it's like I can do literally all five of these, not a problem. But that's the event store, what it is. So let's jump to the final part of this video, editing in. Okay, so that was the event store and that is the SMSs. So that's the main bulk of this video actually completed. This, that's, what it, this is what the video is. It's about the great chase. I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you find it useful. But if you do want to continue to listen to about my update and the mental health side of things, Please stick around because I'm just about to go into that. Well, actually, right, right now. So basically, as I said, I have a lot of things going on at home. My partner's health had deteriorated and trying to look after my partner and my children at the same time, it was a lot going on. And basically, because of her condition, um, she was getting muscle spasms and we was ringing ambulances out every single day to try and help. To be perfectly honest at the minute, the health system, if you cannot afford to pay for it yourself, is well and truly broken. It's well and truly broken, but I'm not going to go into why, because it's that's a political matter. Yeah, we, we don't, I'm not going to talk about politics, but it took its toll on me, for starters, and it also took its toll on my partner to the point where she just wanted the pain to stop and did something incredibly silly and that tipped me over the edge to the fact that I punched a brick wall hence the reason why I have this and what I've done is just here at the finger is your metacarpal here and it's joining into a ball socket down here just above your wrist I snapped a tiny fragment off there so basically, here. I haven't had to have any painkillers because the, the pain's not there. It did swell. And I ended up in hospital 
in the urgent care section that they, they did an x-ray and I saw the fracture consultant he said it's definitely broken but we need to see how bad we need to send you for a CT scan so I went for a CT scan went back to see him the following week and he said we're going to need to do surgery on it so we passed it over to the emergency list I spent the full weekend fretting because I'm not very good with the general anaesthetic because I got told that's what it would have to be under. But then on the Monday, I got a phone call off a specialist who was supposed to be doing it and he's an upper limb specialist saying, I don't need surgery. So I went in and saw him, basically put it in a cast for a couple of weeks, take it out, physiotherapy and good as it. Yes, I'm still gonna have that broken bit, but that's by the by. And also as part of this as well is I got help from a mental health team. I went and saw them a couple of days ago. Um, basically talk it out. And I'm not going to lie. I have spent the last several weeks crying. I broke. It still hurts me today. Not because I did this because of what would it have done for my kids? What would it have done? And anything could have happened. And it's still difficult, even for me, a, w a month later, to get my head around what happened. I was angry at the time. But. I'm not angry now and I'm angry at the system because the system has let my family down it has let my family down well my partner anyway she wants nothing more to be a proper mum to the kids but because of her condition she can't she, but she does what she can and yeah I've cried because I don't want my kids to lose their mum I don't want to lose the kids myself so I've sought help and I'm going to continue with that help I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has messaged me with support it is greatly appreciated from the heart thank you Yeah, it's, they usually say for a bloke, a bloke shouldn't cry. I mean, there was that song back in the 60s or 70s, whenever it was, Big Girls Don't Cry. I mean, it might have been the 80s. But it's usually commonplace for a man not to cry. And can I just tell you something? No, men, any males watching this video, watching this part now, it's okay to cry. It's okay to break. You're not invincible. You're not data. You're not an android. You have feelings. You have emotions. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that you have emotions. You have feelings too. And you have a right to break if it gets too much. But don't forget there are people out there who can help. Now, I did try to look at for numbers in America where help's available. There's that many different ones. It was hard for me to actually pick one. But here in the UK, we do have an organisation called the Samaritans. Great organisation. Now you can just ring up and talk. Don't be afraid to talk. We've got a telephone company that you, back in the 90s used the slogan, it's good to talk. And you know what? That's right. It is good to talk. It is good to talk. And it's good to sit there and cry on the phone to the, to the help, to your family. And if your partner sits there watching you cry and says, man up. I can't tell you what to do on that one because even I, I, I'd tell my partner to piss off if she said that. 
but my partner's understanding and she knows it's been hard on me. 2024 as it is for content on my vid channel has not been very good, but um, with everything we've got going on, but this as well was something different. But I am trying to get back into the swing of things. There are other things in my um, my real life as well that I'm wanted to get started, but I've had to push back and back and back this year. And they've had to go back to the end of ne uh, to the middle of next month on the earliest. Uh, sorry, the middle of this month. Sorry, on the earliest. So, but yeah. Don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to say it's too much. Because trust me, sometimes life does get too much. And how you handle it determines your strength. And breaking down and crying does not mean you're weak whatsoever. But my DMs are always open for those of you who do wish to chat. Mental health. I know Rev Juice has a mental health um, channel on his Discord. I would encourage you to use it if you do need to. The community that we have is brilliant. It's great and supportive. You will have the odd one or two people who think... Yeah, let's not go into that one. But the vast majority are supportive. Obviously, as well, my my mental breakdown basically meant I didn't do much of September's arc, hence the reason why there was no grading video for that. But it was a crap arc anyway, so I'm not particularly too fussed. I wasn't impressed with that arc. God only knows what I'm going to be thinking about this month, but we'll see. So, yeah. Mental health is a fickle bitch. But make sure you put yourself first. Make sure you look after yourself, not just physically, but mentally as well. And like I said, my DMs are always open. I will get round to replying. Do not worry. If you do want to chat. But until then, thank you for joining me. I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is The Pegasus Show. Stay safe. We'll do it with this hand. Live long and prosper, and I shall catch you on the next video. Goodbye.